What's going on my friends? Julius Kelawan, the Traffic Don, here with this video on a broadcast versus a follow-up series. The reason I'm shooting this video is because I was asked what's the difference between a broadcast and a follow-up series. The difference is a follow-up series is actually a series of email campaigns that you create and you put in a sequence that would go out on a specific time and or date. A broadcast is basically a newsletter that you send out to your list of subscribers on any given day directly from your autoresponder service. I have two autoresponder services. I use both Aweber as well as GetResponse and sometimes I also use MailChimp for other things. Um, of the three, I believe that Aweber is one of the better ones, and second would be GetResponse. That's just my opinion as far as which ones are better. Now, the difference is when you have a broadcast going out to your list, you can broadcast to your list daily, which creates a level of trust with your subscribers. It creates an understanding of who you are, what you're about, what your intentions are, and if the person that's reading your emails should trust you as the go-to person in marketing. Now, when you have a follow-up series that, say, it's already given to you by the company or the affiliate vendor that owns the product that you're trying to promote, you're using the same follow-up series that everyone else is using and that can become very problematic because people may have seen that offer before they may have seen that email before but you have to remember what is gonna separate you from the other people what's gonna separate you as the person that that person should buy this product from or should join you in business so it's very important that you separate your follow-up series from your broadcast messages so if you have an email that you've sent out before and that email has generated sales one of the first things you should do is copy that email and input it into your follow-up series that way it automatically goes out as a follow-up due to the fact that it's a high converting email now as you go on with the course of your career as you build the rapport with your list the broadcast will help you to will enable you to show even more to your list basically more real time than an automatic follow-up series would so say for example you woke up today and you're not gonna work on your business at all and you wanna go to the beach but you still wanna email your list you would send a broadcast out stating that you're at the beach hanging out just enjoying yourself while leads are flowing in while cash is flowing in because your follow-up series is doing the work for you and the broadcast that you sent out the day before generated some sales so it's very it's very important that you differentiate between the two and use them to the best of your advantage the right way now you don't want to send out a broadcast Monday and then don't send out another broadcast for another month because that's their how's your list gonna trust you if you're not communicating with them how, how are these people gonna know like and trust you if you're not communicating with them on a daily basis building rapport sending out those emails and really having them know who you are and the kind of person you are and what you stand for so remember to use that in your marketing wisely Separate your follow-ups um, in different orders, in different days, and see which ones work best for you. Some emails may not work well for you on certain days in the sequence, while certain emails would work better for you on certain days in the sequence. So it's all on a matter of testing, testing and tweaking, testing and tweaking. In this industry, that's what it's really about. It's always about testing and tweaking because you can have something working right but you can even have it working even better if you just tweak it just a little bit Julius Kalawan the Traffic Don signing out